not, you don't have to go far to experience birds from all over the world. One bird park right here in the east offers it all. We take you there in this week's People and Places with Pierce. This is Scotland Neck, North Carolina, a small town like many others in the east, except for one thing. It's a place where pairs of wings greatly outnumber pairs of legs. We have about 240 species of birds here. I think we have one of the largest collections of flamingos anywhere too. And you can see them all, thousands of them, at the Sylvan Heights Bird Park. Hello! History goes back uh, with the Lubbock family, myself and my parents uh, originally moving from England to Alabama, and then from Alabama to Sylvan, North Carolina, that's where we get the name Sylvan. In 1989, we moved the entire collection to Scotland. I've been doing waterfowl now for 55 years, both in England and in America. We breed birds for waterfowl mostly for many of the zoos and private collections. In 2003, there was talk about opening a park, and uh, the park opened in October of 2007. It's gone from 18 acres to 28 acres. One of the highlights of the park is the landing zone, where you can literally immerse yourself in birds from around the world. Our big belief um, is to be able to break that barrier so it's not just seeing birds behind a fence, but actually being inside the exhibit. And speaking of exhibits, a brand new way to be part of the flock is set to open soon. It's going to be a neotropical aviary. The big thing is to be able to walk inside double doors and you'll have hummingbirds and other types of tropical birds flying around you. But the park is just one part of the group's mission. We try to work with the country, especially right now with Sumatra and Asia and different parts, in finding viable habitat for reintroducing species. I've helped to save various birds from the Hawaiian goose to white-headed ducks in Spain. The more positive experiences with outdoors and animals that we can give young people are the better chance they're going to be stewards to protect those resources. There aren't many places you can get close to birds or animals, for instance. You go to a zoo, they're usually in the distance or also behind bars, etc. Here you actually walk amongst them, and I think that's the difference with us and anywhere else. It's a difference you have to see to believe. In Scotland Neck, Halifax County, Pierce Levy, not your side. So Pierce told me that I was going to love this week's People and Places with yes. Pierce, and I do. That is awesome. I want to go right now. We love them each and every week. Yes, but, but we you know how I am about sure. animals. Yes. That was so cool. Pierce is always on the hunt for great people and places to visit here in the East. If you have an idea for a story, just send him an email or connect with him on social media. Mm. Got to get